Here's a little story about a man with a shed. He was really bored, so this is what he said. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna get on the radio. So now in his shed, he does a funny show. Broadcasting, that is. Radio Gold. It's pretty funny. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, or as our brothers to the south call you, hey Zeus, we thank you so much for this bountiful harvest of Domino's, KFC, and the always delicious Taco Bell. I just want to take time to say thank you for my family, my two beautiful, beautiful, handsome, striking sons, Walker and Texas Ranger, or TR as we call them. And, of course, my red-hot smoking wife, Carly, who is a stone-cold fox, mm. who if you were to rate her ass on 100, it would easily be a 94. I mm. also want to thank you for my best friend and teammate, Cal Naughton Jr., who's got my back no matter what. Shake and bake. Dear Lord Baby Jesus, we also thank you for my wife's father, Chip. We hope that you can use your Baby Jesus powers to heal him and his horrible leg. And it smells terrible, and the dogs are always mm. bothering with it. Mm. Dear tiny infant Jesus. Hey, um, you know, sweetie, Jesus did grow up. You don't always have to call him baby. It's a bit odd and off-putting to pray to a baby. Well, look, I like the Christmas Jesus best, and I'm saying grace. When you say grace, you can say it to grown-up Jesus or teenage Jesus or bearded Jesus or whoever you want. You know what I want? I want you to do this grace good so that God will let us win tomorrow. <sighs> Dear tiny Jesus, your golden fleece diapers with your tiny little fat balled up fist palm. He was a man. He had a beard. Look, I like the baby version the best. Do you hear me? I win the races and I get the money. Ricky, finish the damn grace. I like to picture Jesus in a tuxedo t-shirt because it says like I want to be formal right. but I'm here to party too. Because I like to party so I like my Jesus to party. I like to picture Jesus as a ninja fighting off evil samurai. I like to think of Jesus... Like with giant eagle's wings yeah. and singing lead vocals for Leonard Skinner with like an angel band. And I'm in the front row and I'm hammered drunk. Hey, Cal, why don't you just shut up? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Dear eight pound, six ounce, newborn infant Jesus, don't even know a word yet. Just a little infant, so cuddly, mm. but still omnipotent. Mm. We just thank you for all the races I've won and $21.2 million. Woo! 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 Ow! Love that money that I have accrued over this past season. Also due to a binding endorsement contract that stipulates I mentioned Powerade at each grace. I just want to say that Powerade is delicious mm. and it, it cools you off on a hot summer day. And we look forward to Powerade's release of Mystic Mountain Blueberry. Mm. Thank you for all your power and your grace, dear baby God. Amen. 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 Let's dig in. That was a hell of a grace, man. You nailed that like a split hog. I appreciate that. I'm not going to lie to you. It felt good. Dad, you made that grace your bitch. <laughs> hey, boys. I want to see some napkins in the lap. Boys, how was school today? I threw a bunch of Grandpa Chip's war medals off the bridge. That sounds like a good day. Texas Ranger, how about you? Well, the teacher asked me what was the capital of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. I said Washington, D.C. Bingo. Nice. She said, no, you're wrong. I said, you got a lumpy butt. She got mad at me and yelled at me, and I pissed in my pants. And I never did change my pee pants all day. I'm still sitting in my dirty pee pants. So. I went my bed until I was 19. There's no shame in that. I get emotional. These yeah. guys are working so hard, and I'm just so proud of you. You remind me of me, precocious and full of wonderment. I'll tell you what, Ricky, you are truly blessed. These two are two in a million. I am. Just like Carly Tatas. You won't find another rack like that, I guarantee it. Thank you, Cal. That's real sweet of you, Cal. Cal, that's a real nice sentence. <laughs> that's about one of the nicest things you've ever said. Well, I mean it. Stop it, gonna make me cry. It comes from my heart. That's oh. why. I can't hold my tongue. These kids are my grandchildren, and you are raising them wrong. They are terrible boys. Shut up, Chip, or I'll go ape shit on your ass. I'm going to scissor kick you in the back of the head. Yeah, yeah, turn up the heat. Go on and get some, boys. Come on. I'm 10 years old, but I'll beat your ass. Chip, I'm going to come at you like a spider monkey. Like a spider monkey. Go on. Chip, you brought this on, man. 
Greatest generation, my ass. Tom Brokaw is a punk. What is wrong with you? Chip, I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. I love that. You gonna let your sons talk to their grandfather like that? I'm their elder. I sure as hell am, Chip. I love the way they're talking to you. Because they're winners. Winners get to do what they want. Hell, you're just a bag of bones. Only thing you ever done with your life is make a hot daughter. That's it. That's it. That is it. If we wanted us some wussies, we would have named them Dr. Quinn and Medicine Woman, okay? I worked too hard for your bull, Chip. Come here. It's hot. Come on. Everyone just keep eating. It's on. Come here. All right. Now I'll hold your hair. Hey, you. Don't make it weird. I took a good song and made it funnier. Remember to send us pics of your boobs so we can rub one out to them later. Hey, dude, you can be gay. You were born to take that penis the minute you doubt what it is that you are that is when you will start to become bitter 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 yeah ha 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 So, um, Phil Robertson fired from Duck Dynasty for discussing uh, homophobic comments in GQ interview. whatever that says, uh, patronage of the family, which has been uh, made a fortune from their Duck Dynasty uh, hunting gear and the TV show uh, Duck Dynasty made some over-the-top remarks about gays and lesbians in an interview with GQ. His remarks prompt Glad to uh, uh, issue a statement saying that his remarks were the uh, villest and most extreme statements in uh, uttered against LGBT people, whatever that is, <laughs> in a mainstream uh, publication. So, way to go, Duck Dynasty. Great show, but yeah, you know, you're going to kind of ruin it. Running your lip with your... Let's see. He didn't start out at the beginning um, dis, disparaging the homosexual community first he explained how god gave animals to you to uh to us so that we could kill them uh them all just just well because the almighty gave us this <laughs> genesis 9 <laughs> so now he's spouting off the, i saw uh i saw earlier i saw a friggin uh, youtube thing about him uh, and he was he was holding the book he's a preacher now now he's a preacher He's going to go around preaching the word because he's famous and he's got a little bit of money and he ain't got nothing better to do. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Genesis 9 is where the animals went wild. And God gave them wildness. After the flood, that's when uh, he made animals wild. Up until that time, everybody was veg uh, vegetarian. After the flood, he said, I'm giving you everything now. Animals are wild. <laughs> Keep bringing the gold, Duck Dynasty. Keep bringing the gold. Pass me another for Oaks. Folks, I'm Phil Robertson, and I hunt ducks for a living. I have a God-given right to pursue happiness. My idea of happiness is killing things, skinning them, plucking them, have a big meal, all your children, your grandchildren gather around, and we eat that. Yuppie girls wouldn't like it. 
Don't marry some yuppie girl. Find you a meek, gentle, kind, spirited country girl. If she knows how to cook and she carries her Bible and lives by it, and she loved to eat bullfrogs, now there's a woman. See, the first prerequisite for marrying a woman, can she cook? And if that doesn't stack up, adios amigos. And she doesn't have to be a pretty girl. It's hard to get a pretty one to cook and carry a Bible anymore. You're going to be there for 50 years and you don't even know whether she can cook or not? What kind of thinking is that? Well, we'll just live off love. Not really. You'll starve to death. That has just come on the board. And it is from Dunlop 145. Welcome to the program. And doesn't it feel better to take an angle rate by a pitchfork right now saying, Look, look, it's sneaking, slogging, Volkswagen. Mm, no. Actually, Ghost, I have a Volkswagen. And you know that. Farfig Nugan. The Joker. And I hate to keep beating my grandmother here, but... Shut your stupid, stinking, smelly salmon hole! <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Ghost. Thank you, Ghost. Uh, I guess Ghost is having a busy night tonight over at the Ghost House over there, beating his grandmother. Guys, come on. Ghost doesn't beat his grandmother, does he? Falcon Richie 596, you're on the air with Debbie. Oh, yeah. Falcon Richie five nine six was that ghost? I'm not sure what you just did. Hoodoo Brown, you were on the air with Debbie Daly. Bring it. You see, you dumb American motherfucker concerned about Chinese space program. You don't need to worry about that, motherfucker. You don't need to worry about what the communist government of China is doing. The communist <laughs> government of China is going to colonize. Space, motherfucker. We're going to send chopsticks to the moon, and there's nothing you American motherfucker can do about it. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Fortune Cookie. Joker, 0999, what is up with you this evening? Look who it is. It's the man they call Ghost, the host with the most, and I don't mean to brag or boast. People hate because I talk about the president, the fruity liberals, and the illegal Mexicans. They all say that ghost is a dangerous man because I speak that politics that they don't understand. Truth and service to the heart just to let them know. Capitalism to the soul to the bullet hole. I'm living. I think, go- I think ghost is trolling me tonight. I go. Oh, Victor said let it play. Sorry, Joker. Let the bitches eat cake. I'm not heartless, I'm like Rob Hobbs in, the old politics book called Leviathan. I'm not cold, I'm a humanitarian, I want to see human progress to the very end. The OG, throwing it down, the OG, throwing it down, thank you, the Joker, zero nine 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 nine. All right, let's go and answer Dunlop145, you're on the air with Debbie. Now, John. Hello. 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 He beat my grandmother here, but. 
go. Stop it. Hey there, showbillies. Do you want to rock out with Joe Seeker? You're probably saying, but Uncle Bobby, I already do that every day at Showbilly Internet Radio on Speaker.com. Not like this, you haven't. That's right, it's the Rock Out With Your Karaoke Out Mix CD starring the shill's own Joe Seeker. Feelings of love. <laughs> That's how it is. I'm gonna sing that. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Cut! <laughs> And since I'm psychic, but choose not to use my uh, psychic abilities for wealth, fame, or even just the greater good, I already know exactly what you're going to ask next. Uncle Bobby, how much does this CD cost? Believe it or not, it's absolutely free. You welcome, Internet. Okay, I love you.
the lotion in the basket now.
chasing mice and digging holes Tiny paws up the hill Suddenly you're standing still Your fur is red, so beautiful Like an angel in disguise But if you meet a friendly horse Will you communicate by more oars, more oars, more oars? How will you speak to that oars? What does the fox say? That's crazy, right? Come on, I'm so sick of this video. Who is Sasha Club, and why is she thinking about you? Hey, come on, baby. That's, that's just my colleague, you know? Whatever. <laughs> you, you really gonna leave with my family here? Dad says, hmm. Sis says, hey. Mom says, wow. And brother says, wow. Cousin says, money. Nephew says when And my grandfather smells gas Aunt says uh-huh Uncle is loud Grandmother says oh my hip But there's one sound that y'all should know What does my girl say? Your skin is soft, you're beautiful, but that jealousy's from hell. You're in my phone and searching it, asking me who are these? Really, this chick looks like a ho. Update for you, the shower. Mm. Unless yourself piece, piece by piece till you're all bare, slip gently into the shower without a care. Now, shh, huh. Now, yourself in the, oh, drench yourself in the rushing water. Sprint some soap in your hands. Massage the poof until soapy and suds. Caress your body bottom to top until a sweet sight from your lips. Tip lips. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, caressing down the water drops. Now it's time to use your heavier props. Gripping the shower head. You switch it to massage, plus standing gently to your fits of plenty, circle motions, all for arousal, all free and loose. The heat of the water makes the heat of your juice. Oh, yeah. Ugh, so please take the shower. <laughs> Uncle Bobby Radio, playing all things funny, right Joe? I already told you, Bobby. I refuse to prostitute myself out on this pre-roll. 